Can you know, can you size up, I guess, how you felt maybe you were 12 practices ago and now where you feel you're at now? Uh, 12 practices ago, I say we were just out here getting our feet wet, getting back to the movements that we used to. Wasn't too much of a turnaround, you feel me? We just ended just uh, Georgia game, what, uh, what, December? So I'm right back. So I feel, and up to now, I feel like I'm in a good position to keep on grinding. With Johnny gone, Keon gone, did, did you feel like a, an opportunity to present itself this year that might not have been around? Um, not really. It just, I, for every opportunity I get, I take advantage. I take advantage of it. So I, you feel me? Any opportunity that presents itself, like yeah, there's a bigger opportunity. I should, have, I should. You feel me? Be more productive. Be this is that towards the offense, but it's still a day, a day by day stuff. I mean, process taking taking it at a time. How, how frustrating was last year? You you might have been the best receiver all spring last spring. I about. Mm-hmm. With the injury you had to deal with, you didn't get a little chance to get your feet under you and get get a lot of playing time. How mm-hmm. frustrating was that? Uh, and then was the guy we saw against Georgia more of the guy we would have seen all season if he'd have been? Helping? Um. Yeah, the injury is it's setting back a little bit, but I me, mean, I'm not I'm not a selfish person, so it was just next person up in line will be rooting for them from the sideline until I get back. So you feel me? It was an easy transition, Keon coming over, clap him up, blah, 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 this and that. You feel me? Have him you feel me, give him the best spirit while he's out there on the field, I'm on the sideline, you feel me? But when I did come back, that Georgia game, yeah, I feel like it was a little a little burst of what I could uh showcase for next season. Even though I wasn't a hundred percent, but do you feel like you carried that over into this, this spring a little bit? Yeah, I feel like I carried that over a little bit into the spring and just keep on working. What have you been working on? What's specific? Um, 50, 50, 50, 50 balls. Um, staying staying tight to the line in quarterback space for the throws and uh, speed. Keep on working. Yeah. I thought last year when you came back from the injury, one of the first things that like really stood out was the blocking right away. Like you were blocking uh-huh. all game. With some smaller receivers this year in practice you're going up against, what do you have to learn like differently blocking? Like you're not blocking a big Johnny Bosa and or sorry, small receiver. Oh. Corners, sorry. Um well it's still the same, you feel me? You want tight hand side elbows on everything, you wanna get a holding call, but with the smaller receiver, you gotta really put your pad level lower, and with the taller, with I mean, with the smaller corner, you gotta put your pad level lower, and the taller corner and shit. It's like more like your height, so you really don't gotta bend as much, but you still wanna get lower than the, uh, lower than the, the DB. The how you feel me? Good blocking. With the blocking, you can't lose block. You may lose something, something up, but blocking should be the number one thing for you feel me, receiver. It's not like last year's offense kind of built on what you guys did in 2022. Do you, does, does this offense feel like it's kind of a reset, like a new page that you got to turn, or are you building off what you did last year? Uh, a little bit of both, I want to say. We still got some pieces and some, some new pieces, you feel me, especially with the quarterback. With the quarterback room, we got, you feel me, you got DJ coming in, so he trying to get used to the offense. And you got Malik on the outside with a couple new freshmen and transfers that just came in that could be re- very good. So it just... Like a little bit of both. We trying to get the younger people acclimated with what we were going through last year and a few years ago. Let them know. Are you guys a fast rolling? Yeah, I feel like we're fast rolling this year. Yeah, the young guys rolling. <laughs> the young guys rolling. Jaden Brown. Ooh, I would say Jaden Brown rolling. Cam rolling. Jakai, you know, Jakai always rolling. So yeah. What's uh, DJ been like for you guys? What has he brought to the table? Uh, DJ he brought. Uh, what do you call it? Like a quarterback that's want to get the ball to the receiver, you feel me? Stand in the pocket, go throw the ball. And after every play, he going to look at you, ask you, um, what could I did better? What could you did better? Trying to get on the same page as a receiver, as a QB should. Oh, no, nah, room, op- room open, room open. For anybody to be a leader, you could be the person who just came two, three days ago. If you want to be a leader, step up and... And make a vocal and let everybody know what's going on, how we should practice. Yeah, go ahead, step up. Now you got some leaders that just lead by example who don't say much, too much in the room, who won't speak too much, but come to pull you uh, close to, close together and talk to you one on one. Then rather than everybody know what's going on. Speaking of one on one, number one. Uh huh. Are you faster because they're better? Or you just been putting the work? Yourself? Yeah, I just be putting the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just putting the work. Yeah, that's all. I know. Same old person, just a new number. Thank <laughs> you.
Do you see a difference in, in DJ from practice one to... Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is this? Um, accuracy with the ball and again on the same page as the receiver. He know when he know when to place it now. We even had so many practices, so it should be an easy transition. And Saturday should be a great, what do you call it, for everybody to see. Great show for everybody. Uh-huh. No problem. You good, you good. All right, um, you know, I thought today was a good work day. You know, a lot of situations we tried to, you know, with not having a scrimmage here this last week, we tried to get a little bit more teamwork uh, you throughout the course of practice, um, but still having the balance of the, of the opportunities to grow fundamentally and in, individual, you know, some of the group. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's, it's good to see guys having to, um, you know, go out there, communicate, work to execute. Uh, you know, we've had some... Some new guys getting opportunities, uh, you know. So you know, it's all it's it's always good to see them work to grow. Um, but I thought all in all, it was a uh, it was a good day. I thought the offense started off, you know, had some good explosive plays, um, you know, really good in a, in a couple of, of the, the earlier situations. I thought the defense responded really well uh, there in the back part of practice. Uh, you know, had some 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 things communication wise. We got to continue to get better at, um, you know, just as we're as we're you know still trying to install and get the last these last few things. Uh, before we get into summer for, for these guys to understand what they need to work on. So still pushing installation, uh, but I thought it was good. Uh, just a, a, a little update, you know, um, you know, for, for the rest of this week and obviously for, you know, the, which will wrap up spring, uh, you know, uh, Brock and Luke will actually both be unavailable. So they are dealing with, um, you know, minor, minor uh, little injuries that, uh, you know, it's not going to affect anything for them even in the summer, you know, but it's just, I thought we'd get Brock back by this week, um, but it's looking like it's going to you know, probably get it going to going to next week, and just unfortunately a timeline. So both those guys will be unavailable. Uh, it's a good opportunity for Trevor Jackson. You know, he's been getting you know the, the two reps uh, you know, here the last couple of days. Um, you know, still learning a lot. So he's uh, you know it's uh, it's definitely a lot being thrown at him. You know, just with it, with everyone. But I thought he's done some good things. Uh, you know, obviously a great opportunity for him to to get some experience and and, and work and get better. Uh, I thought you know DJ. Uh, you know he's continuing to grow. You know I like I like his his understanding. There's you know still some still some things that you know he's going to continue to improve upon just with more reps. Um, but you know I thought he you know, did some good things. I thought Malik Benson was a, you know, looked great today. You know, had a lot of big plays. Um, you know and you know I thought the defense you know, really flew around there uh, late. You know, seeing guys making plays on a ball. So you know really encouraging on that. Yeah, I think it's all, it's always timing, rhythm, you know, understanding, and especially it's you know some of the intricacies within the uh, you know this offense and where we want to try to go with the ball. What's the progression? What's the read? Um, you know, kind of helping him grow through that, and uh, you know, but he's got he's got a great arm. He's got great ability. You know, I mean, I'm I'm excited about what I've seen from him, but you know, we got to continue to push, and I'm coaching him hard to. Uh, uh, to understand, you know, just how good you know he is capable of being, just the same way as you know these these other you know younger quarterbacks. You know, they every day step on this field, you get opportunity to go get better, and you know, I really like the mindset of that room. How excited were you about getting Trevor? Um, it's kind of late in the process. But... Yeah, no, I mean he's a, he's somebody that we've known, uh, you know, through through the recruiting process, and you know we had. Uh, uh, you know, a couple of opportunities, a couple of things that he looked at, um, you know. But I'll, I'll say one thing instead about Trevor is, you know, even early in the in in the journey, you know, we had Luke committed, you know, pretty early, and we were very open and transparent of what that was going to look like on our end. Um, and all Trevor said, Coach, that was one opportunity to compete, and that's it, and, you know. And uh, you know, as his path and of of. Uh, um, you know, the next really two years, you know, you watch him, you, had, you know, he, he grew, he got better. He had had some opportunities and then there were some things that were limited. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited about having him. Great young man, uh, hard worker. You know, you see the ability that he has to. You talk about Malik today. It seems like he's kind of stepped into a fairly natural leadership role, I guess. What have you seen from him in that aspect? And, and how important is that for a, a group that doesn't have kind of that established guy like that? Receiver? Well, I mean, we've got, some, we, we've got some some great guys in that room that have been here. You know, Ja'Kai Douglas, uh, you know, Ken Tron, you know, um, you know, obviously Darion, you know, the guys that have, that have been a part of this team for a while. So they understand expectation. What I love is Malik is such a great fit for, for this program, and he is – uh, you know, he loves playing football. He loves who he gets to do it with. I mean, he's been a wonderful teammate, wonderful addition. Uh, you guys have helped, 
push and challenge him as well. And, uh, you know, but he embraces, he embraces, you know, this and, you know, just really all of who we are. And that's uh, something that, you know, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch, and you know he's he's showing he's showing that he can be a go-to guy and somebody that um, you know can play at, at, at an I think elite level. And so you know want to see him continue to progress, but you know I like I like what, the, the path he's on. Would a showcase format be similar to the years past? Yeah, it will be. It's going to be you know it's not a game. It's a I showcase. Okay. I know, but I'm just making sure that I say it. Um, no, it's uh, it's going to be your know, offense and defense. You know, we're going to we'll, we'll roll through um, the kind of modified uh, timing. You know, uh, it will the, the the main part of uh, you know the scoring will all be in the grand finale, which we're excited about getting a couple past players. Um, you know, a part of the uh, the '99 uh, you know team that was you know really special. And uh, you know it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun just to see those guys uh, you know coming back. You know, being a part of it. Uh, I know you guys have all seen the you know seen the post, but we got you know Tommy Polly, uh, we got Travis Minor, we got uh, Corey Simon, and then you know Peter Work. So you know four great great you know Florida State Seminoles, and those guys will be uh, they'll get an opportunity to go and uh, you'll have a little bit of fun there at the end of it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get good work, and you know for the guys that are available, there'll be some that will be limited, um, but it's a great opportunity to to go out there and have have a chance to go get better. Yeah, no, I mean, I think Jackson has a chance to have a great year. You know, I'm really excited about the tight end room. I mean, I, I think, you know, Kyle showed a lot of really good things last year. Um, you know, I think he's continuing to push. I think Jackson has a chance to be as good as he wants to be. I mean, he's his speed, athletic you know, ability, you know, power, um, physicality. Uh, I mean, he's He's about all the right things. Uh, Brian Courtney has taken some major, major steps. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think he's an explosive playmaker that can really uh, make an impact. And then, you know, Landon, you know, I think he's got a chance to be really, really good. And he's going to play for us this year. I don't know. He's on the fast track. I mean, that's that's something that, um, you know, as, as long as he continues to, to take the steps necessary, I mean, he's got a great future in front of him. Um, and then you'll hopefully get Jarrell back full speed and, uh, you know, could, he can continue to push. But I like that room. And so uh, definitely excited about where it's going. But Jackson's one of those guys that absolutely have taken a huge stride so, you know, here this spring. In terms of roster management, with the 12 practices in and now the, the transfer portal open, has, has anything changed in terms of what you guys think you might need to address or how you no, we'll, so we'll, we'll continue to evaluate all things. I mean, you know, just, just – um, you know, we'll see where we'll see where our roster is. You know, here in, in the next week or so, and um, you know, we we understand you know who we are, what we're about, um, and you know, ultimately, if there's if there is a right situation out there that fits our program, we'll evaluate it and see where that where that where that goes. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's you know it's all about us continuing to go get better here this week. All right, thank, thank you, guys. Mike.